Tesla didn't delay the $13,000 Model 2 by accident. It was all part of Elon Musk's master plan. While other automakers stumbled after losing EV tax credits, Tesla quietly prepared a move that could flip the entire market. Was this a calculated pause to dominate the affordable EV race or something even bigger? The timing, the data, and the strategy all point to one shocking truth. Let's dive right in. When Elon Musk announced an affordable Tesla, most people expected the company to launch it immediately. After all, the Model 2, rumored at just over $13,000, was supposed to democratize electric mobility. But instead of a grand reveal, Tesla went quiet. No teaser, no prototype, no date. To many, it looked like a delay. But in reality, it was a setup. A calculated move in a much larger game that few were able to see. The real story began on September 30th, the day the U.S. federal EFI tax credit officially expired. For years, that $7,500 incentive had kept legacy automakers afloat, masking the fact that most of them still couldn't build profitable EVs. When the credit vanished, the industry stumbled. Ford paused construction on EV plants, GM cut battery production targets, and Volkswagen froze investments. The whole sector suddenly looked fragile. Tesla, however, moved in the opposite direction. Just as competitors were retreating, the company recorded almost half a million vehicle deliveries in a single quarter. Those numbers didn't happen by chance. Tesla had been quietly encouraging buyers to lock in orders before the September deadline, creating a last-minute wave of demand. It wasn't chaos, it was choreography. By holding back the Model 2, Tesla prevented it from eating into that profitable surge. Customers rushed to buy Model 3s and Model Ys before incentives disappeared, raising Tesla's average selling price by 8% without any price increase. That extra margin became the capital base to fund the Model 2's ultra-aggressive pricing. In other words, the delay financed the disruption. When the credit finally expired, most automakers faced a cliff. Their EVS suddenly looked overpriced. Dealers sat on unsold inventory for months, but Tesla had something others didn't. A new car ready to strike right when consumer psychology flipped. According to Cox Automotive, nearly 70% of potential EV buyers had postponed purchases, waiting for a cheaper model after incentives ended. Tesla understood that hesitation not as a problem, but as an opportunity. That's why launching in the fourth quarter isn't a coincidence, it's strategy. October through December traditionally account for nearly one-third of annual auto sales. Without incentives, consumers become more price-sensitive, more cautious. Dropping a $13,579 Tesla during that window doesn't just fill the market gap, it redefines it. What others saw as the end of the subsidy era, Musk saw as the perfect vacuum to dominate. And while the market speculated, Tesla's factories were quietly shifting gears. In late September, multiple camouflaged prototypes began appearing around Fremont and Giga, Texas. They looked smaller than the Model 3, with a lower stance and a sleeker profile. Photos and leaked footage revealed a new hatchback silhouette, unmistakably distinct. For those who understand Tesla's development rhythm, that sight was revealing. When multiple vehicles are spotted testing simultaneously, it means the car has entered final validation. Real-world endurance, crash, and climate testing just months before mass production. This confirmed what many suspected. The Model 2 wasn't in design limbo. It was already in motion. But perhaps the most revolutionary part of the Model 2 story isn't the car itself. It's how it's being built. Tesla's new unboxed manufacturing process represents a complete departure from the century-old assembly line model. 
Instead of pushing one car down a single path of sequential steps, Tesla builds large modules, front, rear, underbody, separately, and then merges them like assembling a massive 3D puzzle. This parallel manufacturing system cuts factory floor space by nearly half, slashes capital costs, and reduces assembly time from 30 hours to under 10. The efficiency gain is so extreme that production speed could soon reach one completed vehicle every five seconds. For context, traditional automakers average one every 60. This shift changes everything. A single gigafactory in Texas could theoretically output more than 400,000 Model 2s each month. At that scale, the cost to produce each vehicle plummets, turning affordability into a competitive weapon. Musk once said that Tesla's real advantage isn't just batteries or AI, it's manufacturing velocity. With the unboxed system, he's proving it. But there's still one more layer to the plan, and it might be the most disruptive of all. The Model 2 isn't just designed to be cheap, it's designed to earn money. That idea becomes clear once you understand the role of FSD version 14 and the new AI5 chip. The AI5 delivers a leap from 8.2 to 327 trillion operations per second, while consuming less than half the power of its predecessor. This allows Tesla to embed full autonomy capabilities into a low-cost car without expensive cooling systems or premium hardware. In other words, it brings the brain of a supercomputer into a $13,000 vehicle. Musk hinted that FSD V14 could roll out alongside the Model 2, transforming it from a commuter car into an autonomous workhorse. At full deployment, a single Model 2 could generate up to $13,000 per month as part of Tesla's robo-taxi network. Even if it runs half that time, the numbers are astonishing. A $79,000 annual yield from a vehicle that costs less than most motorcycles. The math makes one thing obvious. This car isn't meant to depreciate. It's meant to appreciate. That possibility alone reshapes public perception. Suddenly, Tesla isn't just selling transportation. It's selling an income stream. Even before regulators approve full autonomy, the idea itself becomes a marketing engine. Consumers and investors alike start viewing Tesla cars not as expenses, but as assets. And that psychological shift is priceless. It also explains the silence. Musk didn't rush the announcement because he needed all the pieces aligned. The tax environment, the production line, the software, and the chip architecture. Launching too early would have meant missing the synergy. Waiting until now means Tesla can introduce the Model 2 not as a prototype, but as a complete economic ecosystem. An affordable car, mass-produced efficiently, and powered by artificial intelligence capable of self-driving revenue. This is why what looked like a delay was actually the most disciplined timing play in Tesla's history. Every quarter, every number, every pause, fits together like a carefully tuned machine. As other automakers retreat or pivot, Tesla positions itself to redefine the concept of ownership itself. And when you put all those elements together, the end of subsidies, the rise of unboxed production, and the dawn of AI-powered autonomy, you start to see what Musk has been building toward all along. Not a cheaper car, but a cheaper gateway into a new economy of mobility, where the line between product and investment disappears. Tesla didn't delay the Model 2 to buy time. It delayed it to own time itself. And this, right here, is why Tesla delayed the Model 2. It wasn't hesitation. It was a calculated synchronization of economics, technology, and timing. The kind of move that redefines an entire industry. The $13,000 car isn't just an affordable EV. It's a blueprint for the future, where artificial intelligence, clean energy, and mobility 
merge into one scalable system. Because if Tesla can build an autonomous, profitable car at this price, what stops them, or anyone, from applying the same principle beyond Earth? Manufacturing efficiency, self-learning AI, and distributed autonomy aren't just shaping our roads. They're the foundation for off-world production, Mars habitats, and robotic exploration fleets. And this is only the beginning. The Model 2 marks the first time a personal vehicle doubles as a networked economic unit. What happens when that logic extends to space infrastructure, lunar logistics, or interplanetary transport? So the question is, how far do you think this convergence between AI, automation, and space technology will go? And who will lead it? This is Tech Revolution, where we decode the strategy behind every technological leap shaping our shared future. If you value insight over hype, you know where to find us. Because in the story of progress, the Model 2 isn't just a car. It's the opening chapter of humanity's next great acceleration. Tesla didn't delay the $13,000 Model 2 by accident. It was all part of Elon Musk's master plan. While other automakers stumbled after losing EV tax credits, Tesla quietly prepared a move that could flip the entire market. Was this a calculated pause to dominate the affordable EV race? Or something even bigger? The timing, the data, and the strategy all point to one shocking truth. Let's dive right in. When Elon Musk announced an affordable Tesla, most people expected the company to launch it immediately. After all, the Model 2, rumored at just over $13,000, was supposed to democratize electric mobility. But instead of a grand reveal, Tesla went quiet. No teaser, no prototype, no date. To many, it looked like a delay. But in reality, it was a setup. A calculated move in a much larger game that few were able to see. The real story began on September 30th, the day the U.S. federal e tax credit officially expired. For years, that $7,500 incentive had kept legacy automakers afloat, masking the fact that most of them still couldn't build profitable EVs. When the credit vanished, the industry stumbled. Ford paused construction on EV plants, GM cut